Hi YouTube, Sudog here, welcome back to some more DM Duel commentary. So we have friend Sexy here at 677 along with Windup44 who is just way higher than this guy. I mean 1515. Almost 10k experience. This guy, not even 500 experience, not even 700 rating. Like, seriously, dueling network pool. Like, come on. Like, are you kidding me? So anyway, we're gonna be seeing some shit all action here by Windup44. I mean, he's he's still a prophecy fan. He has the high priestess avatar, but unfortunately, he knows that there's no way and no way ever that prophecy will be able to compete in today's meta. So he plays shit all fusion that gets met with solemn warning, and just gonna play another one of those fusions just to troll him and bring out a construct. So the Thunder King is fiendish, so he will be able to add, you know, cards from his deck to his hand for Hedgehog. But I mean, that's pretty much the only thing, you know, prophecies, or not prophecy, <laughs> Windup's really going to be using a search. So he ditches a Squamata to add a Squamata. I don't know how that worked. I guess he has to ditch the Hedgehog, but he hasn't found it yet. Or no, he's going to add a Core. Or ditch a Core to add back a Shadal Fusion. So I guess he ditched a... A hedgehog first and then a squamata? I mean, last time I checked, squamata doesn't add another squamata, but I mean, whatever, I'm just gonna assume that these guys know what they're doing here. So, unfortunately, Franceski has to take a neg one and discard an MST just to bounce back the construct. It's probably Burning Abyss, and unfortunately, he didn't open up any Burning Abyss. So, back to, back to his turn, just sets another back row. And just seems like Windup is in the complete winning position here. End phase, he plays El Shadow Fusion, gets rid of the Fiendish Thunder King and Esquimada to bring out yet another construct. If we were in Japan, if we were halfway across the world, guys, we would not be seeing any of this because this card is banned. Well, actually, I don't know if Japan has their own dueling network anyway. So if I was in Japan, I'd probably still have to use TCG dueling network because I don't have, I don't think they have their own special dueling network, even though they should. So, he's going to be ditching Dragon and Beast. Dragon's going to pop that, and then goes bye-bye to the limited emptiness, and then Beast can draw him an extra card. So, just pro plays in general. I know, I never really understood why Beast and Falco were so cheap, but Dragon was always, like, the rare that was a whole lot of money. Because, let, let me check right here. A buck twenty-five. A buck frickin' twenty-five. Beast, a rare. Nineteen cents. Then how does that make sense again? I don't, I don't know. So anyway, like Franceski, he er, er, but yeah, that's his name, right? So Franceski, you really need to, to draw onto some burning abyss or something. Cause that's just what I'm assuming you're playing. But you could be playing something cool, like what harpies with the phoenix wing wing blast, ditch uh, ditch that hysteric sign, add three cards in the end phase. Ah oh, no, he has to he has to go neg again and discard another MST. Now pretty unfortunate when he opened up double MST against Shadal. So that's another reason why people aren't really. Oh, it's Volcanics. Okay, so uh, a little too late. I mean, <laughs> just a lot too late, actually. That gets met with Valor, and I mean, hmm, just it really doesn't seem that good at all. I guess he didn't draw. He really didn't draw any monsters till now because if well, that's game. But anyway, <laughs> if Francis guess he had like a shell or a scatter shot, he most likely would have discarded that for the wing blast. And yeah, this is game. He's not even gonna use the effect. He's just gonna summon game game. So pretty fast game one. Wind up just a complete blowout. I mean, Frescas Franceschi just couldn't draw anything. Like literally, can't really blame him. He didn't really make that many, that many misplays. Just couldn't couldn't draw anything. So, fortunately, for him, we're gonna be pausing the video and hoping that he can, you know, do something. I mean, he has a pretty bad matchup because the scatter shots really aren't gonna do anything against Shittles. But I mean, whatever. If he can get, you know to his cards fast and get the advantage going fast because that, that's usually how volcanics win just if they get to their key cards first and get the advantage going and you don't have any outs to them they're just going to go so plus and you know just out resource you early on in the game so as you can see he opens a lot better this game he decides to go for the three cent place accelerator reload three pennies man this is so cheap so he summons the rocket adds the three cent card and then pot of dualities Hmm, I actually have no idea what you're going to take. It all depends on your hand. He's going to grab Shell, so... Now he'll have a live Blaze Accelerator reload. And, you know, Shell going for a decent amount of money. Two dollars. 
think it's a common and came out of the dual terminal. I know the ultimate rare shells are going for quite a bit of money, but I think the common and the dual terminal versions are, you know, still relatively cheap. Here's a mathematician, so I would really like for this card to get hit on the ban list because I'm just I'm not a fan of this card at all. And he's probably going to be ditching. Hmm, I don't think they still play Felice, but I mean, if, if you if you still do have Felice in your deck, I mean, it wouldn't be the bad the worst of ideas. But probably just gonna ditch a Squamata to ditch something else. Oh no, he is playing Felice. Awesome. So you don't have anything to stop this. I mean, okay, he has the emptiness. That's good. Nah, Scatter Shot definitely would have been better because you would have been been able to nuke both of those and draw the card and inflict 1,500 life points. So I mean, yeah, Scatter Shot would have been a trillion times better. But I mean, still, at least you you had the out. Now, unfortunately for Franceschi. That mathematician will be able to float and get a draw. He's gonna chain, and yeah, like I was gonna say, probably an El Chanel fusion. I have no idea why you're saying that's okay, because I mean, well, he can't activate it, he just has to chain the emptiness. Because here's, here's what happens he summons mathematician, ditches the Felice, he's gonna chain Vanities to the Felice, and he's gonna chain El Chanel fusion to the Vanities. There's really, I mean, that's that's the Blaze Accelerator reload, so I have no idea why you're asking that's okay, because I mean, that's definitely not going to do anything right about now and yeah that's exactly what happens so wind up going to be pitching beast and maybe the mathematician it all depends it really just all depends here okay he's going to be pitching a white dragon rival burster and you know ever since the star seraphs came on i haven't really been seeing a lot of shit play this but i mean it still is a really good card really annoying card to deal with because they just they just all search themselves and they make you know just rank four plays that much easier. I'm gonna be just ditching Squamata and ditching something else, I guess. I don't I don't know. So wind up 44. Let's go. And again, not looking that good at all for Franceschi. Now on the bright side, he will be able to get a couple draws off the Blaze Accelerator Reload, but I mean. You're gonna lose your emptiness. You're gonna lose this, and I mean, yeah, he's just, he's just gonna use that right off the bat. So, end of main phase one, he's gonna be playing this, and he's gonna be wow, really? Personally, I've absolutely no idea why you didn't do that before. I th I th the emptiness was way too valuable, in my opinion. So, unfortunately, he drew into another scatter shot, so he has to ditch that from his hand to the graveyard. So, we do know another card in his hand is the. Volcanic Shell. Now, again, I, I don't understand why you didn't, you know, play Accelerator Reload once he summoned the the Felice. Personally, that just would have been a lot better. Because, I mean, saving the, the Vanities for a for refusion is just so much better, in my opinion. But, I mean, whatever. Not me dueling, and, again, this guy's ra rating is, you know, relatively low. I mean, I'm not saying he's bad or anything, but, I mean, just, you never know with this duelist pool. I mean, we got wind up here who's like what in the top 100 and then this guy who's you know not even half is half as high as wind up so he's gonna be using blaze accelerator again to ditch the the volcanic shell and then he's gonna be using shell to add another one from his deck to the hand now hopefully he has the royal or something because if he had the royal he'd be able to put back those scatter shots and then draw the fresh new pair and yep exactly as i said he does have it so that is really Really, card again. This card is so so annoying. It, it literally was just what makes the deck the deck. I mean, without this card, I mean, it, like volcanics wouldn't even be a deck. I mean, just God, this guy is so annoying. Literally a plus three on summon that put pet that puts back all your beautiful, all your beautiful. God dang it, man. I'm recording, man. I'm recording. Sorry about that, but anyway, yeah. Hmm gonna be playing volcanic or <laughs> whatever it was like god dang it man you messed me up <laughs> you messed me up <laughs> uh, but like, like I said royal firestorm guards the card that makes volcanics you know volcanics so Franceschi here is thinking and he definitely has a you know a chance to do something here because, I mean, he has five cards in his hand to work with. And he can go for a free rank four if he wants to. I mean, Castell, no, he'd go 101. That'd probably be better. Now, 
hopefully you sighted in those non-fusion areas. Because the last thing you have to you can be worrying about now is those all Shadal fusions. So he's gonna be chaining MST to the, the Shadal core, I guess. Yeah, I guess he is, okay. So he says in Chian. Hello, Chian. So he's gonna play it before the resolution and now if he wants to El Shadal Fusion, he's gonna have to be using a card from his hand, so unfortunately, wind up 44, I guess he doesn't have another monster to use El Shadal Fusion with or something, but even if he did, I mean, that probably wouldn't be the best of options, because I mean, Franceski can easily just go for a rank 4 or something. I'm, I'm still really hoping you sided in those, those god dang non-fusion areas, because you need those ASAP. He's gonna make a Dweller here. So, he probably has protection. You gotta have protection, man. You gotta have protection. And then he's gonna set three back row. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully a non-fusion area, man. Like, you know it's a two-deck format. You gotta have those non-fusion areas. Okay, he's gonna Solemn Warning the White Dragon Rival Burster. And I'm pretty sure this doesn't get the search effect. And, yup, it does not. So, awesome. And here's a Thunder King Ryo. And he has nothing to stop. Okay, good. He has a Book of Moon, so. Number Generator was nice enough to give him the limited Book of Moon, the limited Emptiness, the limited Solemn Morning. And I think that was it, but I mean, awesome. But again, you know, all, all the limited cards. You're opening 10 cards, 3 limited cards. I mean, that's just awesome. Thank you. Thank you, DN. Thank you so much. So, Franceski gonna be using the blaze accelerator reload again and again to get free cards and then now he's going to MST it now unfortunately he can just banish that right off the bat and scatter shot him oh no he's just gonna attack here and that oh yeah that is the Thunder King I knew, I knew that and now it's back to windups turn so here's a dragon just you need to get past that dweller he's just been using beaters here so, Dragon is a really nice top deck. Again, if you want to use the Blaze Accelerator Reload, you can, can kill the Dragon and then end foaming. Okay. So, he is going to be using the Blaze Accelerator. The dragon will activate and pop one of the... Well, you're probably going to chain Dweller. Yeah, he's just going to use Dweller. So, this game probably is over. So, I do got to give big props to Franceski here. You know, I thought that that's... This is going to be a swift 2-0, and... Oh, no, he has the Shadow Mirror, too. Congratulations. Didn't even... I don't know what the point of making the Dweller was if he had a Shadow Mirror. Just, I, I do not understand that logic. I mean, personally, a 1900 beater and a 1700 beater is just a lot better than a mediocre 1700 beater that can easily get ran over by, you know, a Black Dragon, a BLS, a Thunder King, a Squamata. But, I mean, whatever. And here's a Dark Arm Dragon. Wow, does he really have three... God, that is that is what you call kids call a top deck. So Franceski has to think here for a second, and he says, "Wait." Now, on the bright side, the dark one will not be able to use its effect because Shadow Mirror is on the field. But I mean, awesome. Okay, and go on. So I guess he doesn't have any outs to it. Oh no, he's the Wing Blast. Okay, and that should be game. Most likely, yep, it is game. Okay, awesome. So Franceski, he did come a, have a really nice comeback because I mean he started out this duel, you know. I mean he started out strong with the first turn surge, but I mean I still thought Windup was gonna find a way to win, but unfortunately, it, it was all the royal. It was, it was getting that plus three off the royal, which brought him brought him back in that. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick and respond to these PMs, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. So ouch, ouchy, ouchy. <laughs> That, that one for one on the Valor, man. So, yeah, Franceski is forced to go first here, and luckily for Windup, he has the Valor, so he won't be able to go Monk into the level 4 guy and then search out your, your number one trap card, going for three pennies, number one trap card, and then get your, your deck going. So, I mean, at this point, I really... Hmm, I don't want to see say the game's over, but, I mean, I really think that Windup's probably going to gonna win this. He goes for the Deja Vu play in the uh, Mathematician for Fe Felice. 
or fee lease, whatever you want to call it. And the last time this this happened game two or game one, I think this happened game two, and he actually ended up losing. So Franceschi's gonna think here. Because I know he wants to go into the Black Rose ASAP, and on so many he's still thinking. Let's see what he's gonna do. Any second now, come on. Any second now. <laughs> Any second now. No, it's okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna wait like like twenty minutes, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I mean if you have Blaze Accelerator, I guess it'll be Oh, that kind of sucks. I mean, on the bright side, you do get your Blaze Accelerator in the graveyard so you can scatter shot later. And then you put the the dead Felice at the top of his deck. So, I mean, I guess that's pretty good, but I mean, if Wind 44 has like a Shadow Fusion or a Foolish Burial or even a Sinister Shadow Games, it's really not going to be doing that much work. So, let's see if Franceschi top decked another spell. If he did, that would be pretty good. But, I mean, I don't think Volcanics played that many spells. No, he probably just top decked into, like, a random shell or scatter shot or something stupid. And wind up just passes here. Wow, so no Sinister, no Shadow Fusions, no nothing. Back to Francesi's turn. And he's just gonna end, so I guess... I guess none of these guys are drilling into anything here. Especially wind up with all those cards in your hand. I think you have, you know, at least one play. No, he's just gonna pass again. Wow. So this is definitely benefiting Franceschi. He sets another back row. And just gonna end his turn. So this duel has gone on to a screeching halt here. And I mean, I'm, I'm surprised... Okay, <laughs> I was like, I was just about to say, like, I'm surprised you don't have, you know, like a dragon or a... Even a black dragon, rifle booster, whatever you want to call it. Or even a squamata to get past the summoner's monk. So he's asking if battle phase is okay. Franceschi says yes, and he's gonna take a couple hits to the chin here. Dragon will get past that monk, and then Mathematician will get in for 50 number points of damage. And I think that's pretty much all you're gonna do. Wind up. I mean, I really don't know what. Okay, he's gonna play Shadow Fusion, regular Shadow Fusion, during main phase two, and then there is the awesome Solemn Morning. So. <laughs> Games 2 and Games 3, he opens up Solemn Warning and Book of Moon is opening 8 cards, so congratulations, Franceschi. All the limited cards for the win. But, I mean, still, I mean, assuming that one of those cards in your hand is a Scatter Shot or Shell, I mean, you're really not looking in that good a position here. I mean, Windup just has all the advantage. I mean, he's, he's plus 4 on you. He has double the cards you have. I mean, you got that live, you know, that live reload in your graveyard, but, I mean, still, I mean, if you hit the dragon, that's just going to kill another back row, and then... I mean, I guess hitting the Mathematician will be decent, but whatever. So he's going to be switching the Mathematician to Defense Mode. I really don't understand the logic. I, mean, I really don't understand the logic at all. Personally, I just would have kept an attack on him. He already so plus a Mirror Force really isn't going to do anything right about now. And, I mean, still... I really don't... <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand the play of putting that Mathematician to Defense Mode, man. Just not at all. I mean, you already have so much. I mean, who's going to be keeping in Mirror Force against Shadows in the first place? Especially when he knows that you're playing the, the Chaos Dragon version and not the Star Seraph version. But, I mean, whatever. So, he's going to be using Shell to add another one and most likely use the Blaze Accelerator to draw some more cards and then he can use Shell again to add it back. But, I mean, if you really don't have any, any way of getting past this stuff. Probably, as you can see, there's an MST right there, so I mean, hmm. I mean, you still have the scatter shots to survive you another turn, but the problem is it's not going to be putting in that much advantage. And now we decide to put the Mathematician to attack mode, so also, I really just don't understand why he didn't do that last turn. So during main phase one, he's going to be using the Blaze Accelerator to send three scatter shots from his deck to the graveyard. To kill the Mephitician, the dragon, dragon will activate, killing a back row, and then... Oh yeah, I knew he drew one, I knew it, I freaking knew it. Because, I mean, all the all those plays of absolutely doing nothing, I knew you had to draw that, so... 
Luckily, he does have another Shadow Mirror, so the dragon won't be able to get a, get a plus in. And now he's just going to summon another one and attack for 1900. And that brings Franceski all the way down to 200 points of life points. Oh, a Sparks would win it. We saw a Sparks last week on low-rated duelist. Sparks could win this entire match. Sets a monster and sets uh, another spell and trap. Probably another volcanic, volcanic shell. Summoning Denko here. I mean, its effect is completely useless, but I mean, he's just going for beat down here. And that might be game. Let's see. It goes by better shell and Denko for game. Maybe a wing blast. Maybe. Oh no! God dang it! So he had a defusion. He had a spiritual fire art Karenai, and then. Double break. Yeah, okay, yeah. So anyway, Windup gets the win. Unfortunately, he only gets six rating for that. Hardly any points. I mean, I would be pretty mad. I mean, doing all that. Yeah, he had another Veiler too. God, so th that Summoner Monk was not going to be putting in any work lately, anytime soon. So unfortunately for Windup, he only gets six rating for winning this match. But I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed as always. And hmm, until tomorrow, when we have everyone's favorite segment. This is Stew Dog. Signing out.